Hey there guys, Chumpet here, and I welcome you to Let's React to Gundam Build Divers. So yeah, this is a surprise extra reaction. Don't worry, I'm still playing on reacting to Astro Lost in Space later today. And Saturday and Sunday. I might just finish up that entire series. But yeah, I figured I wanted to give you guys a treat and make an extra reaction video. So yeah, I really enjoyed doing the uh, um the the Gundam Build Fighters Try episodes 17 to 25 uh, because I I mean it had me staying up late and hopefully this won't be me staying up as late. Uh, but yeah, you know my deal. I'm a huge Gundam fan, so I couldn't resist. So let's just hold on. How long are Hold on a moment. Yep, so I'm planning on reacting to the first five ep- The first five or six episodes of this. So yeah, it won't be as extreme as yesterday. Just planning six at most. And, yeah, you may have noticed that we added an extra line of- It's to the observers. These little Micro Wars kits. It's, so, um, I got these for Christmas. This, my grandma got me the Giradoga. A cousin got me the gym, and my mom got me this new Gundam. Yep, so they'll just be sitting back there and not really doing much. So let's start with the prologue. Um, three, two, one, let's go. Yep, so I do know that this is a... I have seen a few of the uh, Gunpla from this anime. Just looking for things to buy, but... Oh, jeez, that's kind of loud. Yep, I do know that this is... Is some sort of Gundam MMO mechanics verse. And yeah, the 14th Gunpla Force Tournament Finals. I'm pretty sure this is a different continuity from Build Fighters. <laughs> yeah. But we're starting off with something similar with a match. Now, I do believe that makes it that every Gundam, ser Gundam, build, fighter Gundam build series that... Oh, oh dear. This guy with the customized age 2. <laughs> kind of looks like a... Hmm, kind of looks like a, the age 2's original pilot anyway. <laughs> yeah, 10 on 10. Okay, they need to take out the flag MS. Basically, capture the flag, except instead of capture the flag, you blow it the heck up. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> I thought they just flew through the screen for a moment. It's fine, he says. But that voice oozes recklessness. And... Hey, he actually managed to destroy one. Yep, so I think on my own, in between my recordings of this, yep, in between my recordings of this, I think I'll watch the episodes that I watched on the day before, or dubbed in my own free time. Because Gundam series tend to have really good English dubs. At least from the 2000s onward. And war in the pocket. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I see a... A Dotrus, uh... What type of... 
I'm not familiar with the type of gym that was. But yeah, the flag MS. I swear if this flag MS is actually literally a flag. Hmm. Never heard of that type of cake. But no, they've just got their little bit boys. Yeah, so... Captain Rommel, who shares his name with a minor character from... Oh, no. Oh, no, they're... Uh, oh, dear. This is... I'm not entirely opposed to furries. But... You know, I did put B-Stars on my list of what to watch. List. So... Oh, yeah, I'm not completely opposed to animal people. You know, when, you, when you're just not expecting it... It comes as a shock. Oh, and Dodger's caught. And boom. Explodes like those types usually do. And more mooks exploding. As the... Wait, what kind of... Okay. <laughs> Captain Rommel. Oh, I... You know, and hey, there's a bow. <laughs> yeah, funny. You'd think that you th you'd think that the, our furry boy would be piloting a bow, considering that a woo is in the mobile suit's name. Aye. And yeah, this guy in the age whatever is pretty good. He also has blonde hair, which is pretty common traits for a rival character. Unless you're in, say... <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. This is... You know, me, mostly be, I'm still mostly being in shock about a Gundam series having furries in it. Um, not that it's a bad thing. It's just something surprising when you don't expect. A poor plan, you say. But yeah, these are... <laughs> Kurt, who appears to be, yep, he goes head first and, oh, 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 <laughs> Kurt, yep. And, yep, and another somewhat book suit. That was one of the ones from the Gundam Mage. I believe that, I believe that one of them is the Clanch. And, yeah. You know, I actually forgot that there were other bows besides the Glimmy type. So... There's that. But I mean, you know, Glimmy also piloted the Quinn Mantha. But and as they say, light is indeed faster than sound, which is why this laser sounds so powerful. And our resident blonde age boy gets wreck. Yeah, how do you help someone who's been blasted by a cannon that big? He must be a really good builder if he wants to 
uh, put himself back together after that. Oh, we're getting some shattering, but... You've only defeated his armor, you see! No, he's hurting. Hurting quite a lot. Oh! And then there's... The... Then there's that black cyclops. Yeah. Cunning. I gotta wonder, is Cunning his first name? Because the... Or is that just... Do they always have to refer to him by his full name? Because... As, I mean... Cunning Rommel, not to be confused with any other er, Rommels. But yeah, our Cujo boy, not to be confused with any other Cujos. Although in terms of badassery, he exudes a similar aura. <laughs> and yeah. I also kind of forgot what a bow looks like. But I'm pretty sure that a furry boy's suit looks like it was based on one of the ones from, you know, looks like one of the G-Reco suits. Just judging by the way the head looks. Yep. That is how fighters go. Whew. And I love watching Gunpla battles. I raised my fist to the sky as well! And you guys at home, you wanna do it? You wanna do it? Sure you can! Hi. And that's the time up. <laughs> and the <laughs> and the <laughs> and the announcer somehow got worse <laughs> in between series. <laughs> oh man. Oh wait, no, the flag MS was destroyed. Yup, in a manly handshake, as this match ends, the 14th Gunpla Force Tournament, won by Team Avalon, and our, yup, and we've got, <laughs> hold on, one of those guys looked oddly familiar, I mean, I've seen, I mean, I saw the red guy, and wow, our well, I now I know that kid's our protagonist, but I'm surprised he's actually voiced by a guy this time around. Um, because I think the previous ones were voiced by either women or really high pitched guys. Hey. Yep. And, yeah, Double O Diver. I, I knew the protagonist had a customized Double O Gundam. Um, but, that I don't know who has what, and, and the ones I've seen, the Gundams I've seen of this series, I don't quite completely remember, or all of them off the top of my head. I know there was one called the Cubile Damned, and it supposedly got a pretty bad model kit. And... Yeah, but... Yeah, I may have seen some other kits from this series, but my knowledge is... 
relatively limited. And, you know, I'm not the type to be hard on it, on series, so... Oh, you know. You guys can have this bonus. As for me, yeah, the, yeah, so that was a customized age two. I've actually seen the age two Magnum before. I've actually seen that name, but I just assumed it was a form of the regular age two because, honestly, I, I don't want to remember stuff about Gundam Age. And I knew that there were several forms of the Age Gundams that were just mobile suit variations. So yeah, but let's get on to the actual first episode. So many people here. <laughs> and there's this big empty spot. <laughs> yeah, Gunpla battle is pretty hot. Also, thank goodness that the Sazabi is no longer Dabby in this video. Yeah. And hey, the other... I don't know, do I know someone named Yuki before, but... Yeah, I can see... A hall... Of Gunpla. Oh, there's that ugly thing. There's the... I think that was a Strike Freedom facing off against the Age 1. And I saw a brief... And Tom's freaking out again. But yeah. They're watching this battle unfold right before them. In beautiful virtual reality simulation! Yep, just a simple battle between a... Oh dear, it's the Aegis Gundam. <laughs> with its claw form. Seriously, what's the practicality of that? And I've seen that thing before. Yep. And I've seen... Every time I try to look for Gunpla on sale, I always come across something called the Gundam Love Phantom. And I think that's from this series, somehow. But yeah, the champions here, he just destroyed DJ. And the turn X! Yep, that, that's not a DJ I grabbed. That is. So, um... DJ is now crying. But yeah, to sum up, our Kyoya Kujo is the winner of this extra, extra exhibition online. Match. And there's... Um... <laughs> you know, it reminds me of... Um, yeah, sure, there's the opening! <coughs> <coughs> yep. <coughs> oh boy, and I heard there's gonna be cat girls involved. You know, I've liked the cat girls I've seen. Oh, and, and we've got the high rockin' theme. That seems to be general with these series. Yep, and there's that Rommel fella again. There's the other cat girl. There's the ninja girl. There's a Kapool. I haven't been paying attention to the... I think that's a customized Shang Long. And there's our two main kids. 
Divers High by Sky High. Yeah, I like this opening. And there's Mr. Flamboyant guy I, we saw briefly. And there's Blue Haired Waifu 3. Point... Actually, she might be underage. That was a mistake. There's Dark Skinned Red Haired Guy. I swear I've seen him somewhere before. And there's Couldn't See Those from Anywhere. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I've heard about the fat kid. <laughs> apparently he has a he, apparently he has the same voice as Kirito. And I I don't know why. I find that hilarious. Fourteen years old, so yeah, you do have you are a bit older than the other. Or about as old as the other ones. Hey, you're Um, that, that, blonde, you, that, that Yuki kid looks very similar to a character I started a reaction series, from a series I started a reaction to a long time ago, but... I never finished, and I was kept thinking, where have I seen this character before? And yeah, I, I just realized, hopefully this one isn't a reverse trap as well. Sorry, that term may have been offensive. <laughs> ah! Uh, did you see how, did you hear how low that voice went? Yeah. Okay. Gunpla battle, eh? Okay. We're getting more of this. Opponents from all over the world. <laughs> New versus Sazabi. Strike versus Aegis. Actually, I think that was Freedom versus Justice. And a body. All the bodies. And of course, the original Gundam. Gunpla Battle Nexus Online! And there's that Unicorn Gundam full in TD. Oh, don't know the full name of it. But, yeah. Hmm. Well then... You say, well then, well then I'd recommend the Moon Gundam, but that one was, yeah, that one was out by this time, I think. But, oh, oh. It's all leaking out. Now this world's just going to transform into a gunpla world. And... Man, I wish I had a, a this big of a gunpla store near me. Oh my goodness, those are <laughs> giant and... and set... What do you call the science thing, teardrops? Yeah, double O. Yeah. But the I think the double O Gundam's build's a bit dated. But... I'm not completely sure. Yeah, I think it would have been a... I don't know, did they actually release a newer version of the Double O? I don't know, when was the newest version of that one? Yep. I love it when it gradually comes together. Oh, ho you say? Yep, wide range of motion. Yep, 
it's a neat straight assembly. Ha! <laughs> Consider that O means king in Japanese. So it's like the king of kings, you know? Fun fact, they were... Oh, and you're going for a gym 3. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, that is true. I mean. I don't know. Have they... Yeah, just go for something creative. Yup. You're you're gonna use the help of these fellas. I really wish I got into Gunpla at a younger age. But, you know, that's just how life is, sometimes. Yo-ho! It still looks like the original while also having its own flavor, you know? Yep. Must be passionate if you change something without much notice. Yep. First GBN. Oh my gosh. It's the future now. We've got virtual reality gunpla battle. Apparently they haven't used... They haven't learned from the first... They haven't learned... How Gun and Build Fires Try did the thing. And the announcer's voice is worse. Dive start now! Um, get some clothes on, kid! Welcome to GBN Online. Seriously, though, get some clothes on! I don't need your ass to sell my video! Besides, if that were the case, I'd probably be arrested. <laughs> and there were some of those Xeon freaks as well. And yeah. We're... Yeah, looks like... You know, I wonder if any of the... No, never mind that. <laughs> and we've got all sorts of cosplays and stuff. <laughs> oh, the spooky ghost Gundam and... Zaku boy. Yep. And choose the mission. Oh, hello there. Big hipster. Oh dear, this guy is... Shady and... Oh dear. Yeah, you are. Oh, that's definitely the name of a rock star fella. Yep, definitely has the mannerisms of number 23 himself. Well then, mag boy. Oh. Yep, there's the mission counter. Start with beginner missions, free battle. But I suggest a tutorial battle. To get used to the controls. Well, I mean, it's virtual reality, so that's gotta work out. Pretty nice how that was in English. Yep, hangar to check the machines. Yep. So we need to figure out how to get there. By fast travel! Of course. Yep, and then there's our cheese gym. And the Gundam, of course. Yeah, of course, the sortie. 
and not anything else, judging by your man your mannerisms. Almost combined the word with erd man and aneurysm. Yuki kid in his beam master. I gotta say, it's gotta be really good at using beams if it has a name like that. And the double O diver. Ikai! I had no idea he was going to say that. I just knew somehow. Yep. And, but he has that odd smile. Oh, yep. I mean, if the power of love means you can and fire friggin' summon the Burger King. Yep. Don't worry, no friendly fire in the tutorial. Yep. So yeah, here comes the enemies. They look like... They look pretty similar to just plain old mooks or mocks or whatever. Yep. Why don't you fire all those beams? Oh, there's a lot of beams! Alright then, you may not be the best at using them, but you certainly have a lot of them. Just throw the sword and his rifle explodes. <laughs> I can tell this is going to be a solid time for myself. Yep. Should probably calm down, boy. Yep. Indoor and watch. Analyze. And fire! 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 Yeah, congratulations, kid. Yeah, but that... But, but Mr. Purple Boy, our, our McGee, may, Mr. Magoo, is going to... Most certainly, oh, there's one. Alright, kids. Sure, literally pull a beam saver out your ass. Alright, that may not have been what it was, but it certainly looked like it from that, uh, from that angle. But yeah, just a bunch of Leos. Hey, that kid should probably get out of there. Not that he'd be running that fast. Oh, a signal for help. This could be a sign for... Er, this could be a sign for Riku's mystical future girlfriend. And, yep, just exit the darn machine. Yep. I've actually seen a fi figures of a few of these characters. Because you know that... I don't know what you call them, but... Yeah, I've seen a figure of that girl. Before. Oh. Why why does that kid's voice sound oddly s slimy nearby SOS signal right here oh
<laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm not laughing at his pain, I'm laughing at his voice actor, because <laughs> that's definitely the same voice as Kirito, and it's hilarious. He is going to steal your stuff. Oh! Oh. My. Goodness. And then pretty much just summons his... Ah! Oh! That's a clever way to put it. Oh, the Zetas. I remember that machine. Yeah. So this is the f famed rookie hunter. Yeah, I mean, he's technically not playing against the rules, but he's definitely being an asshole. Okay. Now then. This guy's good for using such a... For using such an outdated mobile suit. Must be really well built. Oh dear. He, he's one of those guys who does not want to run away. Oh! Yep. So yeah, you give up when you give up. And you wipe that sorry ass off the face of this game. Yeah, who needs those? You are a weapon. <laughs> ha! Just charge forward. Wow, nice, you scraped his shoulder. <laughs> Just headbutt the blade. Or dodge underneath it. I'm not sure how that works. But yeah, and then you borrow one of Yuki's extra leg weapons. And... Yeah. Pretty much shield the darn mega laser. And go right through. Oh. E.K., I'll say. Yes, you did, kid. Yes, you did. Oh, oh my goodness. This guy's like some sort of... Rock Daddy. Yeah, it's hard to... When you have such a debut like that. I mean, after such an experience... Um. Yo! 
now to watch the ending. See if there's anything I spot. Oh, wait, no, this was a, this is a preview. Shoot, let's get, let's head on. Okay, I'm gonna watch the intro again. To see if I spot anything. So, yeah. Appears the pink-haired girl from earlier is inevitably going to join the game. But yeah. I, I don't know why. I'm actually a bit of a fan of rap songs. But I don't know if you guys actually knew that. But you know. Yeah, I mean, there's the grimoires and there's that. Which appears to be based on something I don't recognize. There's the Kapool again. There's the, is that a custom Barbados? And, yep, I think that was a Shenlong. Yep. So, yeah, you'll recognize we actually saw some of the characters in this opening prior. But, yeah, I really like this song. I mean, I really like all of the, a lot of Gundam openings. <laughs> but yeah, it appears Mr. Red Magnus, dude, is going to be our sort of rival, and probably the older brother of the fat kid. <laughs> yeah, and I see, as is tradition, our... Our... Our, um, SD. And I also saw a ninja and a guy with glasses. And seriously, I've seen that cat girl before. Yeah, that, he never said it, I don't think he ever said his name. Yeah. So it's interesting now, Yuki actually got a better score when it comes to... Uh... Kills, but... Yeah. Code in, gather information, what aves. Oh dear. Sorry, I'm. Oh. Oh, you appear to be very clingy. Oh wait, <laughs> Cobra Gundam, I actually forgot, that was a, th that was the, that was Neo-Egypt's one. Yeah. Um, does he know how to trans-am? Uh, so it depends on how well your gunpla is built. Yep. Yeah. Oh dear. Yep. Have fun, kids. Yep. See y'all inside. And by inside, I mean right now. <laughs> I like how they pronounce it as Slisan, your gunpula. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, and I swear that was a... One of those sounds there, it's something I've heard on an, on an SNK arcade machine. I don't remember which one. And yep. The boys are back in town.
Good to see that. Uh, the girl's definitely okay. Yep. <laughs> Eyes widen. Yeah, sure, Sarah, that's an English name. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there were at least two other Gundam characters named Sarah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so either she's a new player, or she's literally an AI, but although she... Yep, definitely an AI. Yep, hey, it's... Hey there, Mr. Magoo, what's up? Yep. Well then. I have one thing to say to my past self. But I won't. Hmm. <laughs> Well then, I wasn't completely sure before, but, I don't know, I like to talk about, I don't like to talk about awkward topics, but hey. Why am I getting calls from Nevada? I live nowhere near there. Um... Ho ho! And that is. Boy, you are crazy! Oh dear. Yeah, that's definitely... Well, hey, it's your fault for wanting to ride in the hand of a giant robot. Oh, hey, it's the Sank Kingdom. Recreated exactly like it was in Gundam Wing. Yep, and Lacroa. They even have SD Gundam Worlds. And Moralia. Disclaimer. I have not seen any SD Gundam series. Yeah, for... Yeah, if you create a force, you can choose special missions. Conquest missions, base invasion missions. Large-scale force and force battles. I see a gun cannon, I see a relatively ordinary tank. Tank, I see a Maganac. A Lodo. And, yeah. <laughs> hey, it's Patrick! <laughs> oh. Oh my god. The legend. The living god himself. The invincible Patrick Colasauer has showed up. Yep. So first we need to raise rank. Yeah.
Yeah, three times the specs. Blows red. Yep. That's the gist of it. Turns red, becomes more powerful. Ta da! Is it? It's working! It's working! It's working! It's. It is it, it! It. I. It appears to be going good. Oh no! Um, it's. Overheating. Oh. Quickly abort the Trans Am! Yeah. Never want to break your darn thing. Yeah, I mean, that'll really make your machine scream. Yep. Now then, let's look over that place nearby. Yep, even as an ordinary diver, just moving around. Finding a... old... head? Yeah. Oh, sorry for the mic bump. Oh. I don't remember that. I don't want to remember that. Symbol of peace, something that the universal century never truly got. Things just kept getting worse and worse and worse. All because of Fabian's cock. Yep. Yeah, item box is definitely be a thing. I'd just call it an inventory, though. Hey, it's those two. Straight G. <laughs> they have lock up. <laughs> hey, they have the Setsuna's outfit as well. Oh, be careful not to get abducted. Yeah. Well, hey. It appears that the one with red hair is... Ironically, the more calm one. Well, the one with blue hair is kind of crazy. Someone's been hooking you up. A weeb, that's who. Oh, ho. So, <laughs> Mario has logged in. Yeah. Ho oh, ho! This guy's gonna wreck you. <laughs> In a jinx. A red jinx. 
<laughs> These guys are just using a bunch of domes, which are even muckier than a jinx. And hey... <laughs> hey, he was just... Okay, looks like you've already brought on a misunderstanding. Speaking of which, I've heard of something called an ogre jinx. I think this is it, boys. Break boost is applied. Well, you are going to keep on losing. Break decal. Oh! His dome is shining with a purple aura. A mass diver. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's letting out an evil aura. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's become stronger and more wicked. It must be in a lot of pain, as some may say. Eject, boy! Actually, no, just absorb the... <laughs> or reflect! Yeah. Yeah, I can't handle the power of a mass diver. Whatever that is. <laughs> this guy's double boned. Double boned indeed. Oh, no beginner, you say? This is no beginner, man. No beginner. Yep. And of course, the protagonist would make a rival with this red dude. Well, I mean, this guy seems like definitely the Blonde Knight. But yeah. Technically speaking, that's the truth, but you could have worded it better. But yeah, this guy seems like a resident Blood Knight guy. Decoration, you say? I'll show you decoration. Oh! Oh yeah, I forgot Jinx can go Trans Am too. Ha! He's keeping up without using Trans Am. My goodness. He was actually managing to parry some of that. Oh no, he's using it. As a sake of not getting wrecked. 
managing to stop itself midair, straight up doing a ground cancel. All on a move. I used to play a bit of competitive Smash, so I know all about that. Not that I played a character that was particularly aerial based, you know, or anything like that. And I generally main Bowser. But yeah, that was intense. Oh! Come on, something's going to save y'all. <laughs> of course, the big burly guy would not hit an innocent. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you two get out of here. Go on, move on. That girl probably used her sort of special power, you know? Yeah. Well, hey. When you know it's going to be safe, then... It's going to be safe. Yep, looks like Riku's ship is in for repairs. Hellfire Ogre. Or, that's his username. Yeah. He's gradually improving in rank. And yeah, but Riku did actually manage to keep up for a decent amount of time. Yeah. He was really good. Yeah, you know his gunplow was built better than... Yours when he was piloting a Jinx and you were piloting the double O. Yep. Yeah, there's a good time to apologize for that. Yep. So yeah, there's your limiter. No more Trans Am for you. Oh, but he does. Because that's how a promise works. You just gotta keep getting better, and better. Yep. So, the promise is rekindled. And now... Oh, it's not the end of the episode yet. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness, she's even dressing as very... <laughs> Wait, hold on! <laughs> oh my gosh, she's wearing the friggin' Harry Ord pajamas. <laughs> so then, now... Oh, the ending in full didn't play last episode. So I'll just look at the part that didn't play. Yeah. Because, you see, there was a part of the song where the... You probably figured it out by now. You've probably already watched this series before if you're watching this. But, yeah. But yeah, I think that was all the parts that weren't seen. So let's move on to the next episode. And I saw Raw La Cruz look alike in the thumbnail. So um, that leaves me deeply worried. Yep, and a flashback to then with... Oh, it might have been this guy. The Mr. Winner himself, Kyoya Kujo. 
The guy in the Magnum H2. Yep, now he talking. He defeated Mr. Rommel. <laughs> in this battle. Yep, that's how champions work. Yep. Flashback to the prologue. Oh. Good thing I wasn't saying anything while I mic bumped there. Don't actually know how hard you guys can hear it. But now, they're in over some rum. <laughs> what kind of dog are you? Yeah, it sure has been getting noisy. Yeah, there's been the newbie boom. The mass divers. Yep. Yep. Just give him a ring if he gives you, and he gives you the help. Oh my goodness. Well then. I'll just listen to the opening again because it sounds actually really good. Me. I mean, it has these two fighting in the opening, so you assume they'd be rivals for quite a while. <laughs> but yeah, I wonder when the glasses elf's going to join. Or the ninja. Episode 3, They Protected. Yeah. I mean, it is a solid battle. I wouldn't necessarily call it worthy of a finale name, but certainly good as a start battle. Ah, oh, so you've made a new weapon for your Gym 3. Seriously, that color on the Gym 3 looks like it's made of cheese. Oh, good for you! Yeah. Well, prepare for a rough experience. <laughs> yeah, these two get along quite well indeed. So did you literally spend the last half of last episode dressing up? Yep. Yeah, so, 
Yup, first with a rent. Yup. So the, so the starting trio... ...here. Time to log in. Time to rock out. Yes, I am! What a guest looks like. Oh, it's- oh, it's one of those small th things that was seen before. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Must be because you're a guest. Yeah, looks exactly like the one that good old, old, good old Kira I got hit in the nuts Yamato had. Made. The one that he made. By the way, true story, Kira's voice actor asked the voice director to punch him in the nuts at one point. <laughs> it's weird to have a see a Haro saying things that aren't that aren't incredibly basic or sucks to be you, as the dub of Gundam Double O said. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so seriously, look it up. Kira also used to have the same voice actor as Ed from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Keep in mind that none of this stuff I've been saying is a lot. Huh. Sorry, I was just looking at that blonde receptionist there. Yep, defeat a series of enemies while moving. <laughs> I love how as a sample they use it was the legendary god himself, Patrick Colasauer. Yeah, he manages to defeat the the tall geese, the master Gundam, and he reaches it, being the legend that he is. <laughs> oh, hey, it's <laughs> oh my goodness, his. His coat is massive. <laughs> yeah, pretty much every rival character has one. And I mean, Char, Zex, X, Tom Cruise, who's Harry Ord. They either have that or gl sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> He's blushing at the thought of himself. He's the kind of guy who would strip down in front of a mirror, if you know what I'm saying. Um. Yeah. A changeling rifle. So is it a rifle that transforms? Yo. Yeah, I mean, you aren't even keeping it, it unobvious. I mean, considering the Dark Hound is a, is based on the Age Two. And the, and the Age Two Magnum is also based on the Age Two. Yep. So yeah, <laughs> this guy's going to play decoy because. Honestly, there's not much that a seasoned pro can do without giving himself away. But yeah, you just destroy that Death Army grunt, that other Death Army grunt, more Death Army grunts. I, uh, You know, the word mook is just a lot more fun. 
And I'm kind of used to calling those eyes guys Dark Army. Because, you know, English dub technicalities. Now they've got the Sky Dark Ar Death Army guys. Yeah, the High Grade Death Army, I've heard, is a pretty unique kit as well. So, yeah, and it says 0083 on the uh, tower. That's a funny little Easter egg. Yep, phase three, underwater. More mooks. And our Dark Hound manages to make it a good amount. That's phase three done. <laughs> Gotta be fun. But yeah, here's your intermission, kids. Yeah. Switches between beam and gatling, huh? So the so it doesn't just sh switch the shape and speed and range. But also the type of ammo. That's a neat idea for a weapon. I wonder how it works. Although there's most definitely a re reasonable reason. Ha! <laughs> oh, it must be fun to be a Haro. I mean... Yeah, you did do that. Yep. Yeah. Considering you took a pretty bad loss the other day to... Red Magnus over there. And... Didn't have much control over Trans Am. Skill difference didn't help, but yeah. Huh. Yeah, it's kind of hard to explain. You, I mean, you naturally feel stress when you're losing. And... But, I mean, you still want to keep going on sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's a natural feeling, you know? Yeah, if you try hard and lose, it hurts hard. Hmm. Yeah, because this guy is naturally very experienced. Kyoya. Yep. Came to love this world. Yep. Spirit. And frustration. So yeah, because you're getting frustrated, you want to win. Kind of reminds me of how I'm always at 100%. But I, but because of that, I always get a hundred percent frustrated when I lose. Ah, the Walter Gundam, which I'm thinking should definitely be the Water Gundam, considering its element of choice. Okay, neat. Yeah. The Walter Gundam is pretty tough. I mean, I've seen G Gundam. I know what its deal is. And now... 
Here it is. Oh! Yep, looks like we've got a new challenger. Hello there. Fella. Um, Goron, is that you? <laughs> yeah, mass divers. Uh, the illegal. The cheaters, basically. Yeah, they're increasing about beginner and low ranking. And the development team is incompetent, I see. Yep. Well, hey. Well, how about you fight them for that credit? You see, this guy gets it. Yeah, they're a lot more durable than they should be. But hey, you need to really get in to some normal position, I mean. Yep. That Dark Hound is pretty cool. Yeah, they ha they haven't powered their joints, so. Good thing they at least made it easy to tell what a mass diver is. Because that's a permanent red mark on your account. Bird type, huh. Hey, you stubbly dude. You gonna go to- the sky is cracking. Oh! Oh, that's not good. That is very not good. That is... Yeah, it's the Devil Gundam. But it's blue this time. Oh, and there, the ninja's hiding with the, with, I think that was a psycho Gundam type. So, yeah, because either that or one of the, error! Oh my goodness. Ha <laughs> ha. I imagine this is one of those ninja summoning techniques where you can ninja summon a snake. And the Devil Gundam's heads look kind of like snakes. And there was that ninja girl over there. So yeah. But yeah, the... Actually, I don't know if that at mobile armor mode was big enough to be the Psycho Gundam. I mean, it definitely wasn't based on the Psycho Mark IV. Actually, wait, no, not the regular Psycho Gundam, the Psycho Mark II. But of course, the Double Zeta also has a similar looking one. But yeah, that looked like a big mobile suit, so it had to be based on the Psycho Mark II. No, what is that? I can't really tell from here. Well, shattering is what it is. Oh wait, that's just the Magnum. <laughs> yep. Like how the Dark Hound is a m modified version of his armor on top of the Age 2. The... This Dark Hound is armor on top of the Age 2 Magnum. Yep. It is he himself. He is here. Yep. 
On guard! You're going to try to fence with a snake. Ha! <laughs> you got this. They don't even have arms. Allez! Yeah, I mean, he is the champion after all. And you don't notice it, but his shoulders are massive. <laughs> hey. The boys be defending ya. And yeah, that coat is massive as well. Makes you look really swole. And yeah. That is some power. I mean, of course he was just trying to help out the newcomers, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'd say a masked knight certainly stands out, just not by Gundam standards. Yep. So yeah. Presence of mass divers itself is causing bugs. So um Yeah, Champ should probably contact the dev team. But of course, first he needs to smoke those mass divers like a champ. Oh, that must be an honor. But yeah, there's that figure watching from the distance. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this recording session. I'm going to... I promised I wouldn't take too long. And yeah, I'll just go at this series at my own pace. So yeah, I'll be seeing you guys next time.